pasuk says the following. I didn't write this. Hashem didn't ask me for permission when he wrote this. So don't get upset at me. But this is something that it says in uh, Parashat Nitzavim. Parashat Nitzavim we read two weeks ago. Parashat Nitzavim In chapter 29, chapter 29, verse 18, it says, It says, I know most of you didn't understand this pasuk, so we'll read it and explain it. Even the English is not easy. It says, and it will be when he hears the words of this imprecation, this is after Hashem says there's a blessing, there's a curse, and so on and so forth. Someone that hears this, he will, and he will bless himself in his heart, saying, "Peace will be with me, though I walk as my heart's my heart sees fit." Thereby adding the watered upon the thirsty. He says, "Someone that's religious in their heart. Someone that just says, listen, I know you said it's a blessing, there's a curse. I know you said there's Shabbat, there's kosher, but none of them, that's not for me." Come on, it's not for me. I'm going to do other things. I'm going to give money away. I'm going to be nice to people. I'm going to open the door. I'm going to say thank you. I'm going to donate to the dogs to save the pit bulls. Miskenim. How many Michael Vicks are in the world killing dogs? I'm going to save the pit bulls. I'm going to, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to be a nice person. Why? There's plenty of nice people in the world doing such things, right? Not following Torah, but not following their own version. Of Torah, following their own nicehood. So Hashem says, those people that say, peace will be with me, I'm going to be okay. Peace will be with me. I know you said all the, I know you said Shabbat, I know you said everything, but it's going to be okay, don't worry about it. Peace is going to be on me. Though I walk as my heart sees fits, even though I do whatever I want, whatever my heart says, everything's going to be okay. Verse 19. Continues, Hashem will not be willing to forgive him. For then Hashem's anger and jealousy will smoke against that man. And the entire imprecation written in this book will come down upon him. And Hashem will erase his name from under the heavens. Hashem will set him aside for evil from among all the tribes of Israel, like all the imprecations of the covenant that is written in his book of Torah. No such thing as religious in your heart, my friends. No such thing. He says, you want to do what you want? No problem, do what you want. Hashem won't forgive you. Everyone else will forgive. You, he won't forgive. Why he won't forgive? He made a joke of the system. Someone that tried and failed. Someone tried to keep Shabbat, but he didn't know the halachot of Shabbat. He didn't know. He tried. He failed. He tried keeping Shabbat. He didn't know the halachot. He forgot. He didn't know. Forgive him. Why? Yom Kippur, I forgive him. Why? He tried. Someone tried watching his eyes, but he failed once in a while. He saw a man out mother's girl. He looked at the internet. He did. He tried. He failed here and there. He failed. Shem says, I forgive him. Why? He tried. He tried. He tried. He says, someone that said, no, no. Those things, not driving on Shabbat, that's for you. That's for the Haredim. That's for the really religious. I'm not, I'm not at that level. I'm not at that level of being so religious. I drive on Shabbat. Don't worry. Hashem understands me. Hashem understands me. Everything's going to be okay with me. Peace is going to be upon me. Hashem wrote a verse for him. Book of Deuteronomy. He says he's not going to forgive him. And he's going to erase his name for eternity. And all the punishments that are written in this book of Torah are going to come upon him. This is what I just read. You want to read it read yourself? There's no such thing as religious in your heart. No such thing. 